Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I have a beautiful teapot mini album to share with you guys. And I used the teapot die set from KS Craft on AliExpress. I bought this set last year sometimes and I originally bought it just because it just looks so pretty. I find it really hard to find and love the shape that's available out there and I have to only buy the ones I really truly love and this teapot was just so pretty in my eyes so I bought this and it comes with the inlay part like this and it also comes with the word tea party and I don't really use the word part that much but I did use these three now this is the very top part that you can use to decorate like that but guess what you guys see what I've done to my die <laughs> it kind of like ran it over um, with something else and I almost ruined it but it did not damage the front I'm very very lucky <laughs> I do this often or oh, I don't know how I do that to myself anyway so let me show you my teapot die and I got to use my beautifully stacked teacup sets that I showed you guys the other day in my teapot mini album ta-da it looks so pretty don't you think and i even love all of these lace trims that i've added to the side i just love it so much okay so i cut out how many did i cut out one two three four five six seven seven teapots right so to do this i had to cut out double of it at first to be able to cover the front and the back but some of these i did it a little bit different so you'll get to see so this this is how it just lays on the desk and it just looks so pretty okay so i got to use my pretty bow with a love bunny and she's really really adorable i didn't use the word tea i just put party on here this is the font that comes with the die set i also fussy cut out some prima marketing images on here because I just love how their roses look. I also got to layer several different flowers. And that's my front page. So when you flip it, this is the other side. I got to add bows onto this side. So with this one, instead of doing a double cut of this, I only did one because it was a double pattern paper. And then I used the parasol paper to inlay the middle part. And I also used a different one, um, different pattern paper to decorate this part here. Now to do that, I just needed to put different pattern paper on the sections that I wanted to cover differently and then cut it out and then attach it. Now you also might be wondering, when you cut this die out, you'll get a pattern like this. So you'll get a shape to, uh, that goes like this. To be able to do the other side with the pattern paper that's only one-sided, you need to make sure when you're cutting the paper to put the white side down, a uh, white side up and the pattern down so that you can cover this side. And that's how I went about it. So this is my teapot, isn't that pretty? I wish I had teapots like this. So I'll show you one by one. And I got to use beautiful flowers. This is my teacup that I showed you guys the other day. Now to do the shaker part, all you have to do is make sure you use your washi tape and then you put that in the middle. And then you turn it around and you make sure to stick the washi here and there so it stays like that. So that's how I cut out my gold cardstock to create the shaker part. Then I use the vellum and I um, also use the parasol paper behind because I just love the floral pattern and it's not so in your face when you use the vellum. So you can like make your embellishment stand out. So I did that. Then the next page is like this, you guys. See how I used different pattern paper for this part and the lid part? And I really like how I did that as well. 
it is a little bit more work involved to be you know using different pattern paper for every part but if it looks good if the colors goes together really nicely that's all i'm in for and then this bow here this is the woodland grove uh, stamp and die set and i love how i um did the black first and then i added the gold on top and it looks so pretty and the bow size was just perfect for this teapot now this is the next one i love that windmill as i've mentioned before and i love all of the colors that i got to put on here and then this is the other side so i got to use several different collections like i always do this is the other one just love it love it so so much and then this is the other side then this one here this is the blue teapot with the pink flowers and my stacked teacup on the side now also i forgot to mention the teacup on the side you can use as tuck spot see you can just insert uh, memo notes or you can insert your little size photo here as well or anything you want to insert so all of my teacups are insert parts like this and then you can um glue your photo here or you can just journal some notes down you know use another journaling note card and stick it down however you want to use it then this is the next side then it's like this I just love all of the beautiful colors. I even got to use some Amy Tangerine paper and um, Simple Stories leftover hat paper. I just love how this turned out and even the backside you can do stuff with it. And it just lays so beautifully. I did use a ring. I'll show you. The ring is all covered. See, I did use a silver um, ring binder ring and then I attached all of these lace trims on there and you don't get to see that ring binder. It just looks so, so pretty like this. I hope you guys have enjoyed looking at my teapot album and if you have some larger size die, you can give this a go as well. It doesn't have to be the teapot. Just have fun with what you have. Thank you so much. Bye.